As the multinational corporations profit and small farmers disappear, not a single genetically modified crop has been marketed for increased yield, drought tolerance, salt resistance, or enhanced nutrition. And they haven't increased yields, they, they haven't decreased pesticide use, they haven't solved any hunger problems whatsoever, um, and so I don't even understand how people with a straight face can defend genetic engineering. Controlling the seeds is not some abstraction. Whoever provides the world's seeds controls the world's food supply. This genetic engineering issue is the poster child of what is our relationship as human beings to this earth. Concentrating agricultural resources into fewer and fewer private hands by the ownership of technologies like the one being introduced into the Chile has actually led to greater food insecurity, starvation, and death throughout the world. The Chile is filled with Roundup. It is not, it is not excluding Roundup. Of all the claims made by backers of biotechnology, the absence of pollen drift is the most specious and demonstrably false. If they put their hands on wheat and rice and a couple of others, then they have the right to say who plants what and who sells what around the world. The waterways are contaminated, our bodies are full of contaminants. It's, it's, a, it's an, a system based on illness. It's not a health producing system. It, of course it affects the whole system. We were horrified because we discovered that they are only tested for a few months for the GM soy uh, on mammals and that the blood analysis of the mammals are even kept secret or confidential by the companies. The same company that said Agent Orange was safe. They're in charge of the safety of our food supply. Today, there are more prisoners in the U.S. than farmers. Since the beginning, of really controlling the food supply by controlling the staple crop of, of many cultures. The tolerant chili uh, to Roundup, the chili is filled with Roundup. It is not, it is not excluding Roundup. The herbicide contains a lot more than glyphosate, which makes it a lot more toxic.